Welcome back to Teshkid FX for another HBA price prediction update and in this video I'll be giving you the latest developments that have been happening here on the HBA chart which at the time of this recording has lost the 20 day MA here on the daily chart. We have also lost our significant high at around the 0.0808 dollar mark. We have also continued to hold above our key area of support at around the 0.0639 dollar mark and also continue to obey the idiot of structures and before I get further into the technical analysis and also give you my breakdown targets here on the H bar chart. First, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and also check out the channel membership. And allow me to continue with the video here on the daily chart by first giving you a quick recap of what has been happening where you can see that from these low prices that we had been trading within, we saw that massive bounce to the upside seeing the all time high at around the $0.58 mark in what I'm terming is that first wave to the upside and after seeing the formation of that higher edge to have count one and also the all time high, we started the bear market where we had been seeing lower prices in this ABC corrective structure in a move that gave us a lower low at around the $0.0356 dollar mark in what I'm terming as the law for that higher edge to have count two. And after seeing the law for that second wave, whatever we expected next is that massive bounce to the upside in the formation of this wave three where I have minimum target areas at the FIB level 1.618 and that is at around the $0.9768 dollar mark and that is the minimum that I'm expecting that wave 3 to the upside to do and that is on the long term scenarios and jumping to the 4 hour chart for further analysis and also give you uh, my breakdown targets here on the hedge bar chart you can see that after making our lower low down there at around the $0.0356 dollar mark we started this massive bounce to the upside obeying the edge of structures where you can see that I have this idiot of structure in yellow having that is the first wave then a wave two a wave three giving us a high at around the 0.0808 dollar mark and after seeing the high for that wave three we saw a corrective structure in the formation of this wave four fully maximizing our red target area and after seeing the low for that second wave that is that fourth wave we expected another explosive move to the upside in the formation of this wave five which we saw over here giving us a peak at around the 0.0988 dollar mark and after finishing of this idiot of structure in the formation of this wave five uh, we completed an even larger edge wave count one to the upside and after seeing the high for that wave one whatever we expected next is a corrective structure in the formation of a larger edge wave count two and using the Fibonacci is connecting them from the love the second wave to the high of that larger edge wave count one that gave me a minimum retracement area in the formation of that larger edge wave count two between the FIB level 0 0.5 and the FIB level 0 0.618 which is an area that lies between the 0 0.0673 dollar mark and the 0 0.0598 dollar mark which is a target area that I have marked down here using this yellow target area and it is within these target area that I'm expecting to see the low for this second wave and you can see that at the time of this recording we have managed to lose the 20 day MA here on the 4 hour chart uh, we have continued with the breakdown and we have managed to get into that minimum retracement in the formation of that wave 2 meaning that HBAR has now managed to get into the minimum retracement area in the formation of this wave 2 and soon I'm expecting to see the low for this wave 2 and start our explosive move to the upside in the formation of this higher edge wave count 3 to the upper side and in the formation of that higher edge wave count 2 which is a corrective wave we also expected to see an ABC corrective structure also play out and I believe we are seeing such a scenario over here having this as the wave A then a wave B and I'm expecting one more leg down in the formation of this wave C to fully maximize our target areas and for those of us that we are able to open a short trade once we fully maximize the formation of this wave 5 at around the 0.0988 dollar if I give you a measure from that high for those that we are able to open a short trade by now the market is down by 32.6% uh, and we have also managed to get into our yellow target area meaning it's now time that we need to get prepared to take our profits uh, that is for that short trade and also be prepared to get back into HBAR once we fully maximize the formation of this wave 2 so that we can be able to ride this massive bounce to the upside in the formation of that higher edge wave count 3 so that is what I'm expecting here on the short term scenarios there's still room for us to fully support lower prices to fully maximize our target areas so that doesn't mean that we have seen the low for this wave 2 there's still room for us to fully maximize it then we can expect the formation of that higher edge wave count 3 and also taking a look at the indicators on the RSI 
we are trading at around the 31 mark meaning we have a bit of room for us to fully support lower prices in the formation of that wave 2 to fully maximize our target area before we get into the oversold region also taking a look at the MACD we have been able to print a bearish cross and we are also yet to see an increase in the selling momentum here on the MACD to fully support uh, lower prices in the formation of that wave 2 so continue watching that uh, breakdown target between the 0 0.067 dollar mark and the 0.0 0.0598 dollar mark in the formation of that larger idiot wave count too so that is what i'm expecting on the short term scenarios and i'll be keeping you updated